What is the current container shipping situation? The current logistics challenges arouse due to several factors, not just one particular problem. Everyone who used to ship goods smoothly is now facing the highest freight rates and longer unpredictable delivery time. There are multiple interlocking factors causing this. There is the demand spike on particular markets, the capacity shortage, the equipment shortage and there's congestion in seaports. Simply put, the increased demand and pandemic caused the lack of manpower and equipment. This caused the port congestion. And the port congestion causes the vessel shortage, which influenced the demand. Lack of equipment. Also sometimes considered as container shortage. However, this is just a part of the lacking equipment. In the United States. COVID-19 has reduced warehouse turnover efficiency and delayed the return of empty containers. For example, in China, the containers are an extreme shortage. Every three exported containers can only return one to China capacity cannot be supported. And the sea freights are soaring. All equipment types remain tied across Asia, especially shortage of empty containers in key locations. Demand spike. Demand boom happened in some trades only along with the demand for equipment that led to equipment shortage, it could not be fully met. Even though the demand was expected to grow irrespective to the pandemic, it is a significant element, making a difference to the current situation. On the one hand, if the vessels are not, the problem of equipment shortage cannot be fixed, so the product's availability becomes limited. On another hand, it is due to the huge demand that the congestion in North American and European ports has restricted the return of empty containers in time and purchasing and producing more containers cannot quickly solve the problem of container imbalance. Market players would probably better adapt to deal with the current supply and demand situation is something that is not going to go away overnight. Vessel Shortage While shippers are struggling to accommodate consumer demand, carriers are having difficulty moving record-setting amounts of inventory, which is causing severe and consistent delays in releasing the vessels as well. In May 2021 global overseas shipment schedules are just 30.9% reliable. Port congestion Port congestion is the main factor slowing down the vessels and it differs from region to region. Compared to the early 2021, the terminal congestion is slowly improving in the Middle East, but other areas still observe the upward trends. By the end of May, the average port congestion in Europe is 2 days U.S. Port congestion on the East Coast is 2.5 days on the West Coast. It is 10 days. Because of all these factors reinforcing each other, the sea freight costs have skyrocketed. Asia, North America and Asia Europe spot freight rates reach all time. What to expect? It is possible to have the container shipping situation back to normal in four to six months. However, in the coming few months, there is a very real risk. There will be some cargo owners that are unable to find suitable capacity. It is also important to understand that some of the effects are unlikely to be completely reversed. And in this situation, when even small operational disruptions will have a disproportionately high impact. Having the pandemic and accidents like Evergreen, it can continue to postpone the reversal to normal even further. Did Evergiven make things worse? The incident on Suez Canal that serves about 12% of global trade brought great disturbance to supply chains, blocking more than 400 vessels. Even though the route is open again and the traffic resumed, 
the bottleneck effect is ongoing and will have long-term consequences, causing more delays of future ships. More delays potentially mean higher costs as well, while it is unlike to have a greater effect on the U.S.A. the European and Asian market, so the ones to be most affected. What to do? Depending on the type of company, you have different types of procurement strategies involving short, medium or long-term contracts with forwarders would work. In all cases, shippers should consider booking as early as possible three to four weeks in advance and get internally aligned on. What is it that is actually happening in the market? <laughs>